Hello family, it's True Sugar and I'm coming to you today with a quick video of some items that I'm decluttering from my collection. I took the advice of Nancy Gugu to share with you some items that I want to get rid of. And these are things that I've had um, sitting here for some while but I just haven't gotten around to showing you before I let them go from my collection. So the first item that I want to share with you is my Zero Dark Flirty Palette. This is in my... Pantane Ultraviolet um, Project Progress. This has no pigmentation. It doesn't work. I stopped using this months ago and I really need to respond back to you guys and talk to you about that project. Um, but yeah, this is gone. It didn't work. It wasn't useful. Um, I knew when I purchased this um, after I'd had those palettes for a while and there are some other palettes that go with this kind of collection that when Wet n Wild changed the formula, these weren't as good as the previous three pan palettes, but I was collecting them still anyway. But no, this palette and others similar to this will be going out of my collection because they don't work. They're not pigmented enough to stand out on my skin. So, adios amigos. Um, The next palette is... This is a CoverGirl Queen. This is now. This is a CoverGirl Exact Eyelights Palette um, in this pinky mauvey shade. Um, I'm not gonna use this. It's really old. I don't feel comfortable giving this to someone else. So I'm just gonna let it go. Um, I've had it in my collection at least three years, and I've never tried to use it. But swatched it and played with it a little bit. But I'm ready to let this go. I feel like it probably was a little not pigmented on my skin, and that's why I felt. I go off, do a white um, base or something and make it work better, but that didn't really happen. This is my um, Paragua palette, I believe, from Sleek. Um, I learned that I did not like the glittery shades. Um, I learned from the, this is an older palette that I have. Um, I'm ready to let it go. Um, it served this time in my collection. I didn't make pan on any of it, and I'm fine with that because... I have products that I prefer over this rather than rather than to continuously try to pan this particular palette. So this will be let go. I have um, a selection of foundations and concealers that I'm going to be letting go of. Actually, that's the majority of this. This is the Black Radiance BB Cream in Cafe to Red Base. This is the medium... The Earth Medium Concealer, the Second to None Cover Cover Cream Concealer from Iman to Red. This is the Pecan Cream to Powder from Milani um, Foundation. I have two of these actually, and they are too red, and I just I'm letting that go. I'm not wearing foundations that are too red. I'm not wearing powders that are too gray or not light or not bright enough. I'm willing to invest in the brands that will bring me my shade. That's it. We're, I'm just I'm letting go of this idea of trying to buy products and making them work. If there's a brand out there that has my shade, want to buy my shade and wear it. The same could be said with this um, pure CC cream. It goes gray on me. Whenever I put it on, I can let it go. This Neutrogena Deep Clearing Skin Complexion, it is wrong. Um... Though it's not meant to have too much color, um, it's pretty, it's pretty red, um, and it's just not worth it to try to figure out how to make it, to use it. And the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Compact Makeup, um, it's, it's in cover C6, I wear like C7, and it's kind of grayish light on me, so I figured it was fine to let it go and not worry about it. Let's see. I have two old, um, two very old Bare Minerals duos. I'm just letting them go. No worries. And then I have this um, Jimmy Preferred Pink Lipstick from Revlon Super Lustrous. I don't like it, so I'm letting it go. It just isn't my type of pink. Um, I'll swatch it. Why not? That's what that pink looks like. And I just am not a fan of it. Though I believe it's still pretty. 
Um, this is from NYX and it's Chloe. I just, I'm just letting it go because it's a very old lipstick that I haven't used. And I'm not, these are not things that I, because they are so old, I may be comfortable using them, but I'm not going to give this to someone else. And then this is Ultraviolet. So I'm letting this go from NYX. Um, and then this is a lipstick from Sola. This was an Ulta brand that got discontinued and I never wore this lipstick. So I'm ready to let it go now. But it was pretty. I just never wore it. So I want to open my... Just not have all this stuff when I can um, be focused on the other items in my collection. This is the NYX Ultra... The, the NYX... Ugh. This is the NYX HD Flush. It's showstopper. I bought it, never really wore it because it was too... I couldn't control how much was going on my face. And I, honestly, I didn't like the idea of this deep purple shade on my face. So that's gone. Um, this is a Kohl's... Not Kohl's, Kores lip gloss. I'm letting it go. Don't really like it. And that is all at this moment. And it feels great knowing that these items are going out of my collection. Um, I have a lot, as you can see, behind me. I, but every, I have things out so I can see them. So, But I'm working on putting them in my collection and then slowly bringing things out. Um, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, comments, definitely um, let me know. Please subscribe, ring that bell, or hit that bell so that bell will ring you and let you know when I upload um, content. Yeah, that's all I have to say. See you on the next one. Have a great day.